Welcome to Behind the Emerald Curtain. I'm Lindsay Northern. Come with me to explore the scenic design of Wicked. We'll find out how an idea in the designer's head can end up on stages all around the world. Eugene Lee basically created this world that the show now lives in, and he came in with a model. We made a really big half-inch scale model. It was like that big, that big. We printed the map and had a silk screen made of the map. We were quite pleased with this model. And the truth is that the set is more or less the model he built. The big, simple design idea for Wicked is clockwork gears. That seems kind of silly, but it's kind of true. I remember that my picture of the show, I guess, was kind of much more high-tech. When Eugene brought that set in, it was completely different than what I thought the show was going to look like. When we were working on it, we took a clock and we tossed it down the steps and busted it all open and took all the gears out of the clock and, and super glued them into the model. This is what designers have to do. It instantly felt right and we all had the same response and then he was our designer. They called and, and offered me the job. So, end, end of story. As the big idea for the set design was being developed, it was clear that navigating through the land of Oz was going to be a challenge. In a musical, transitions are everything. I mean, you can always make it look like anything. The look is not as important as the transitions. If you can figure out the transitions, the look takes care of itself eventually. I mean, that's really, I know that's true. How you get from one scene to the other is art. And, and if you fail at it, then the, the larger project fails. And so it's definitely been our belief that that has to be carried through. Every transition feels like it was intentional. And I think that allows you as an audience member to relax and enjoy the story because you know that you're being taken through it in a methodical and safe and, and um, an artistic way um, instead of sort of, oh, here comes the scenery and, you know, hold on to your chair, Mildred. You know, it's like, it, it all just sort of happens beautifully. It's been a huge part of our development as, as artists to figure out how to make all of that ballet of, of motors and, and humans pulling ropes and um, stagehands pushing scenery really all come to a, a close right when it wants to. With the success of the Broadway production, Wicked took to the road. The next step was providing audiences across the globe with a genuine Broadway experience. Ever since the Broadway show opened, our responsibility to the design has evolved quite dramatically. So we created something called the Design Template, of which all Wicked designs are based on. And the design is what we want to replicate everywhere. And so the continuing task of Wicked is to make it work in all of these different buildings, in all of these different countries that were designed by all of these different people um, for their own purposes. Every time we go to a new theater, a new country, um, we have different vendors, we have different motors, we have different systems, and so it's we've really taken it on to learn as much about those systems as we need to learn in order to produce the same production and, and give it that same kind of feeling that, um, that you're in good hands. We work with the shops in the various countries, whether uh, it's in Germany or in London or in Japan, translating our documents into different languages, helping other people understand what our design intentions are. Everywhere you go, Wicked looks the same and operates the same. And we've kind of, in a sense, branded the way the show looks so that Wicked has a uniform look that's strictly maintained. It's very special. People love it. And it has a message that seems to resonate. Wicked is in the best of hands.